Hi CC parents and tutors, my name is Sarah and this is Rich and Sarah Learning As We Grow. And today we are going to do some fun science experiments for your Classical Conversations Day, your community day. Um, this is a site for everybody to watch. If you are a tutor, you might especially wanna take close note because I will be showing you how to do the two science experiments this week from Classical Conversations, fifth edition, cycle two, week two. Here we go. Baby, we're children of summer. We're meant to be free. Party, we're not like the others. No reason to be. All right, you guys, I'm back into our schoolroom and I have my Van Cleve science book, 201 Awesome, Magical, and Bizarre, and Bizarre and Incredible <laughs> Experiments that you can do at home with your little ones. So um, today we have two experiments that we're going to be doing and going over. The first one is experiment number 24 and it is called Mirage. And basically with Mirage, there is one point that you're trying to get across and to drive home. You are trying to determine why the sun's image is um, seen before sunrise and after sunrise. And so we're gonna have a few items that you're going to need. Tutors at the Pasadena Classical Conversations community, because I'm your director, I will have all of the supplies already for you and laid out so that you will not have to bring anything to um, school that day. Okay, so for this experiment, you are going to need a small bowl that you can see through, you're going to need a coin, and you're going to need a helper and a pitcher full of water. Water. So let's head on into my dining room and we will have all of our supplies ready to go and I'll show you how to do this experiment. All right, friends, I am sitting here inside of our living room and I have everything that you will need for this experiment and I will bring it closer to the camera so that you can have a better angle and a better view of what we will need. Supplies, you will need a quarter, some sort of a coin. I recommend a quarter because I think it works best, but you could also use a silver dollar, which would work really well. Um, you will need a pan or a bowl, and you will need a large pitcher of water. Okay, so if I'm using a bowl, I will take the coin, I will place it into the bowl, and it is important that you have good sides on whatever container we end up using. Um, you could do this as a partner group. If you wanted to, you could have one student place the coin in, another student place the water in, or you can just do this as um, you, the tutor, doing as a large group experiment. Okay, so once the coin is placed in there, you want the student to back away from the bowl until they just about, if I'm right here, I can no longer see the coin. Do you see that? And if I move right here, I can see just the top portion or half of the coin. So this is something that you want them to be able to see. This will be part of the illusion or the mirage that we will um, do once we see the water in and start putting the water into the um, bowl. So if you notice, you cannot see the coin at all and I will take my water and I will pour it away from the coin. If the coin is up here, I will pour the water behind the coin. So you do not, as you fill the bowl up, you will notice that the coin is not moving at all, and yet it is becoming more visible. Do you see how the coin is now visible? But a moment ago, it was not visible. I did not change the positioning of the coin. I did not make the water hit the coin. The coin did not actually move. What is happening here is a mirage. Let's discuss it. Okay, let's take a quick minute to discuss what's happening here. Tutors, this is something that you can share with your students. So basically, the light of the room is shining down onto the coin, and then the coin is bouncing back light into my eyes, and this is how we see the coin. So what happens when we add the water to the bowl or to the pan? Well, according to Van Cleve, the light from the coin changes direction, okay? Even though we don't move our position, the light from the coin changes direction when you add the water, as it leaves the water and enters into the air. This makes the coin appear to be in a different place, even though the coin has not changed position at all. This change in the direction of light is called refraction. So the Earth's atmosphere reflects light in a very similar way. This causes the image of the sun to appear before the sun actually appears and rises above the horizon at sunrise or when it rises below the horizon at sunset. So in your Van Cleve book, you will see the actual coin experiment 
and you will see the ex how it explains it with the earth if you have your horizon right there the sun the earth and the sun's image the observer is standing here and this is how they would be able to view it much like the coin and the mirage that we just did in our experiment <laughs> is our next science experiment for classical conversations cycle two week two is found in your van cleave book and it is called distortion it is project number 26 okay so as i was saying you'll need a magnifying glass and you will also be given a protractor the protractor is especially important when drawing your circle you will also be given sheets of white paper and a, I believe you could use a marker or a crayon but you'll be given that as well. So the book recommends drawing a one inch circle that is one inch in um, diameter and so you're going to take your protractor and you're going to draw a circle onto a piece of paper. Um, I suggest that you make your circle heavy and dark enough because the project and the actual experiment will work best if your circle is colored in dark. So it will work no matter how you hold your magnifying glass if you hold it parallel but it does seem to work better if you sort of put a tilt on to your magnifying glass. So what happens here is the thickness of the glass distorts the circle as you move across. It distorts the image of the circle, making it appear larger and more um, full as you move across. Do you guys see right there that difference? It's, it's kind of amazing, right? The distortion. And I think the kids in our um, community will just have the best time, you know, going through this. As you get the end, as you hit the end of it, that's when you really tend to see the greatest distortion right there. See that difference right there? So the glass and the magnifying lens has different thicknesses and as light passes through the lens, it changes um, the directions. This change of the light's direction is called refraction. So the purpose of this is to notice the refraction. The thicker the lens of the magnifying glass, the more the light is refracted and the more distorted is the circle. The apparent flattening of the sun at dusk. So you can tell your students that the apparent flattening of the sun at dusk is the distortion of the horizon. So oftentimes in my videos, one of my little ones will come around to help and uh, even superheroes like Iron Man sometimes come <laughs> Getting back to the experiment though, you can tell your students that the apparent flattening of the sun at dusk when it is near the horizon is due to refraction of light. So according to our book, um, it says the rays from the bottom edge of the sun are closer to the horizon and therefore travel through more of the Earth's atmosphere than the rays from the top edge of the sun. These rays bend toward the earth as they travel through the thicker sections of the atmosphere, much like the magnifying glass did. The atmosphere, like the magnifying lens, changes the direction of light passing through it, thus distorting the image seen. So we do have a bit of a cautionary note here. If you do this experiment outside with your students, tutors, please do not allow them to look directly into the sun's rays. Do not let them use the magnifying glass to look directly into the sun as it can be harmful and damage the retina in your eye. So just kind of a side note. So that is experiment number 26, distortion. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you would like to see all of the classical conversation science experiments for cycle two for this year and much more tutor tips and tricks, art projects about CC and all different types of homeschooling resources. We invite you to click that red subscribe button and become part of our family. Thanks guys. Bye. See you.